Good afternoon. The first item of business is Time for Reflection, and our Time for Reflection leader today is Professor Michael Brown, Chair in Irish, Scottish and Enlightenment History, University of Aberdeen. Presiding Officer, Members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you very much indeed for inviting me here today. In times of controversy, we often look to our collective past with a nostalgic glow. Times were better, less polarised then, and challenges were met with profound wisdom. An age of enlightenment is an age of reason and civility. The 18th century was a golden age of Scottish intellectual life, a high watermark when David Hume, Adam Smith and Adam Ferguson shaped political science, economics and sociology and inspired the literature of Robert Burns, James McPherson and Susan Ferrier. Edinburgh, the Athens of the North, was the centrepiece but the Enlightenment reached into Glasgow and Aberdeen and influenced thinkers in Europe and America. Yet the Enlightenment was also an age of disagreement. Hume fell out with his guest, Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Lord Monbodo and Lord Keynes conducted a long-term academic feud. And Dougal Stewart and John Robeson argued about the consequences of the French Revolution. This rude Enlightenment could be personal and unpleasant. But the Scottish Enlighteners did not simplify things. They rejected models of human psychology that said people are only motivated by greed, power or status. They understood human life is complicated, contradictory and confusing. Humans like security and freedom. They collaborate with some people and conflict with others. They can act selfishly and can be remarkably altruistic. The Scottish Enlightenment proposed that we are better people when we engage with others. We are improved by listening and reflecting. We are our best selves when we test our ideas and attitudes in conversation. Virtue is found in the dialogue between people. It is not a characteristic of a person, but of an encounter. Virtue is a kind of action. It was Francis Hutcheson who first said that virtue involved pursuing the greatest good for the greatest number. This phrase, made famous by Jeremy Bentham, makes a claim on our moral imagination. Hutchison did not seek to circumscribe our moral calculus, but to expand it by including what he termed universal benevolence, or the good of all. This approach to the moral life, that people have mixed motives, that we are improved by those we disagree with, and that humanity as a whole has a claim to our attention. This suggests a way past the polemical divisions of their age and of ours. In thinking on the Scottish Enlightenment, we can set aside a nostalgia for a golden age and learn to manage our own disputes with our own faults by collaborating with each other in pursuit of a common flourishing. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Thanks very much. Thank you.